Hello, welcome to Mind Your Business. I am Alma Duncan, founder of the Fabulous Woman Network. I love to support others with their personal development journey through training, coaching, mentoring, events, writing, and may I just add dancing. <laughs> Mind Your Business is our weekly podcast where we share enriching content to help Africans, especially women, to create wealth and impact people as fabulous children of God, of course. It is a free resource, just like our Facebook group, which is called the Fabulous Woman Community, and it's open to all women wherever you are. But if you prefer to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, then please head to amaduncan.com forward slash store where you can book a discovery call with me. It is in this session that will determine the best way to help you. Is it through training? Is it through coaching? What is it that you need? Do you need us to come organize an event for your team of women or even men? Because I serve men as well. Anyway, so click on the link in the caption and book a discovery call with me. Now, for the past six or so weeks, I've been doing a series on Mind Your Business that I've entitled Understanding the Times, you know, looking at the times that we are in and what's happening. How do we take care of ourselves? So we are using Dr. Margaret Swarbrick's Eight Dimensions of Wellness model to look at the different aspects of our lives and how, you know, get some tips of how we can take care of these areas. And for some of the episodes, fantastic episodes, I've had some people you know, experts in these fields come and talk to us about the different ways, giving us brilliant ideas and pieces of advice, sometimes to Ayab alone like today. So, so far we've talked about spiritual wellness, physical wellness, emotional wellness, financial wellness, occupational wellness, environmental wellness, so sex, right? And today we are doing social wellness. Somebody say, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Anywho, are you ready to have this all-important conversation? I believe strongly that all these different dimensions are super important. Honestly, I don't think one is more important than the other. But anyway, that's debatable. It's like this conversation of egg and the chicken. Which one comes first? Which one is more important? You get what I mean? So that's how I see it. And so for, for me, each one of these matters. So let's talk about social wellness today. I believe social wellness is an important slice of this complete wellness package, you know, like all the other aspects of um, wellness, spiritual, um, physical, and all that. And let me explain to you why with a few examples. For instance, a few years ago, I was very down for some reason. I cannot for the life of me remember what was happening with me, but I was feeling very sad and emotionally down and drained. And I remember thinking, I need to reach out to my mastermind ladies. Now, I had just at the time, maybe about for about six months, I had started this group of ladies that I had known for a while and I knew they, they had similar caliber in terms of thinking and mindset and zeal and all. So I just prayed about to put them together and we started masterminding and we had been going for maybe six or so months. And so when I was feeling down, I thought to reach out to them. And do you know what? Immediately I had that thought, I started feeling better. Eventually, I didn't even tell them what was, what was going on with me, which I can't even remember now. But I remember that just the comfort of knowing that I had a community of fabulous sisters that I could reach out to, that was all I needed to feel better. See, I am surrounded by these communities of sisters, and some of the communities also include brothers that have been of such value to me, especially in the last eight or so years. For instance, I have on my, I still have on my vision board, 
put Fab Hub Ashanti in a hotel. This was an inspiration I had a couple of years ago when I was thinking, oh my goodness, what am I going to do with Fab Hub? COVID has happened. We are not doing anything. We've paid the rent and the rent is due. And now we're going to look for more money. You know, I was just thinking, thinking, thinking. And one morning while I was praying, I had this word come to me strongly. Put Fab Hub in a hotel. So I wrote it down. I started praying about it. At the time, I was in two mastermind groups. All ladies, fabulous ladies. So I shared with them. And they were all like, Amma, you can do this. You know, they prayed with me. At the time, I didn't know how. But these groups of women, ah, amazing. They supported me. So much has changed in my life. I keep saying this especially over the past eight years, because of the communities I find myself in. I remember the same Fab Hub issue. Meet, I met one of my you know, sister mentors, like she's a big sister to me. And I remember speaking to her about Fab Hub and the fact that I don't know what to do, the rent is due and everything. She said, Amma, the answer is in your bag already. Put your hand in and take it out. Literally, take it out of your bag. And what? Within a year, we already knew what we wanted to do. And thank God, we have a fabulous new place that we call our home. All because I am surrounded by people who continue to encourage, support, correct, help, advise me. Community is everything. There is so much power in community. And you know what? These times that we are in, where, it, you know... You, you can never tell what's going to happen tomorrow. Today you see this on social media. Tomorrow you see that. It's, sometimes it can be draining. You don't know what's happening with the economy. I mean, so much is happening. It's volatile, the, the times that we are in. This is especially the time that you need to be surrounded by a community of people who are going somewhere people who mean business, people who are on fire for the right things that you need in your life. I repeat, social wellness is as important as all the other pieces of the wellness whole, you know. Now, first of all, what does it even mean to be socially well? Social wellness is just about having meaningful relationships with others. And others here can be individuals or can be groups. For me, I, I say I'm socially well when I find myself in relationships or in situations with other people where I feel at ease, I feel whole, authentic. I feel like I don't have to hide anything. Now, I won't say I've always felt whole in every situation I've been in, but there are certainly some places, some communities, especially of women that I feel like, oh my God, I can actually be myself in this space. Now, your community can be friends from school. Like, I have been reconnecting with some friends from Volta Hall. And, you know, I was in University of Ghana, Ligon, and my home was the fabulous Volta Hall. And we've been reconnecting. And when I meet my friends, I'm like, oh my God, this is my space. This is my jam. I feel so happy. Your community can also be church friends or people from your neighborhood, it can be your colleagues and business associates, these people you usually see more often. It can also be associations like the Rotary Club, Women's Fellowship, and you know, all these other associations. And then of course, it can be social media. Now for a lot of us, especially these days, social media is a big deal. The communities we have, and I don't have to mention names, but you know it. I mean, in the Fabulous Woman community, for instance, we are we have our group on Facebook, and it's pretty solid. And for those of you who have been to our events, you may be in our WhatsApp groups as well, which are pretty amazing. So yes, communities can be anywhere. Now, I have learned some lessons, and out of them, I want to share five of them, that if you really want to take care of your social wellness, especially in these times that you're in. Now, your season may be different from mine, but just look at the times that you're in. Consider the times, and then take these, at least listen to the five I'm going to share, and if there's any message in there for you, take it. The first lesson that I want to share with you, if you want to take care of your social wellness, is 
intentionally be in a community of like-minded or desired caliber of people. So you have to consider, for instance, if you are a businesswoman or a Christian or a housewife or a teacher and you're looking to grow in that area, you want to be in a community of people who are like that or who have achieved the kind of growth that you want to have. Now, sometimes it may require you to spend some money. Yes, for, for instance, there's a group, there's a community that I recently joined called Opportunity Collaboration. They hold conferences every year. And I paid through my teeth this year to attend that conference. But you know what? I am so happy I did. I went in there thinking I'm going to network like most of the conferences I attend. But I got so much more. The kind of exposure, the aha moments I had while I was on this fabulous beach somewhere across the ocean. I, I like no amount of money can make up for that those moments that I had, you know, so it was worth it. I'm also in another community called CEO Accelerator Group. This um, is because I took a program by Temple Advisory, which you can totally check out. And it's for CEOs in Ghana. And I, want, I joined this particular group because I wanted to mastermind with men. Most of my mastermind groups are women. And I wanted to really experience the male perspective, male leader perspective, you know. So I decided to join so I could mastermind with them. And I'm so happy I made this investment in myself. I also have a paid mastermind group of women who, you know, meet, we meet every couple of, I think now we meet once a month and we mastermind together. Yes, it's paid. But the value in these paid um, programs, you cannot just say, oh, no, I'll just wait for the free one. Yes, there are some free ones. But please, if you have to pay to be in a, an intentional community of like-minded or people who are growing to the place you want to be, please, it's okay. Do it. It pays. Well, if it's free too, for instance, I have a free mastermind as well. And I'm, I mean, a few other mastermind groups that have just ended, but we, you know, we are still together. I joined the African Women Entrepreneurs Cooperative a few years ago. I am connected to all these fabulous women from across Africa, women in business. So these are valuable groups as well. I didn't have to pay but they are of value. And these are communities where resources are being shared, inspiration is being shared, opportunities, so many wonderful things. And these are the kinds of groups that you open and every minute there's congratulations or something. And you know what happens when you are in, in a group and every day someone is getting congratulated, you know that God is in the neighborhood. Your congratulations will be on, the, on its way as well. So definitely be in an intentional group. It can be a book club of people who are, you know, passionate about reading, people who care about anything that you care about. You just want to be in such a community because the support and the help to grow is amazing. The second lesson for me, if you want to take care of your social wellness, is when you find yourself in such a group, give generously when you can. Give without thinking, hmm, let me give so that when I need, they also give me. I've learned that. You give. Yours is to give. What does the Bible say? Give and it will come back to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaking together, running over. Yes, it will come back to you, but it may not necessarily be from the person you give to. You may have to give your time, money, other resources, like connecting one person to the other. Let me tell you something. A couple of years ago, uh, a group asked me, to, a group, it's a women's group. They asked me to speak at their conference. They actually asked me for my rate and I gave it to them. But then I felt led to just give it to them for free. Like, you know, let that be my contribution to their conference, which sometimes I do speak for free, even though I'm a paid speaker. And so I offered it for free. I had to take care of my own flight to the city. I had to take care of my accommodation and all the other things. And I happily did it. I was very happy to contribute to them. And by God's grace, at the time, I could afford to do it. You know what? The following year, this happened last year. This year, all the speakers who came for International Fabulous Women's Conference sponsored their own tickets, accommodation, 
everything in Kumasi and they didn't charge me a kobo, as the Nigerian will say. The people that I actually spoke for didn't have to be the ones to pay back someone else. God found other people to bless me in that same way, in a bigger way, actually. This is what happens. I really didn't have any expectations when I was doing it for others for free. But then God found another way to just bless me. And so I, I like, you know, when it comes to giving, just give. Give with no expectations. I know that sometimes it's hard because you're like really expecting that, Charlie, because I did this, that you do that. Yeah, you just do what you have to do. Give when you can. And then just watch God blow your mind. The third thing, in order to take care of your social wellness, when you are in these groups, my sister, my brother, come closer to me. Receive gratefully. Even when you can't repay. In fact, especially when you can't repay, receive. Have you ever been given a gift and you're like, oh my God, this is too much? Take it, my sister. Take it. Take it. You see, by receiving, first of all, people enjoy giving. Okay? Giving is nice. Giving gives a good feeling. So you're already blessing them by that feeling. And then God is going to bless them anyway because they gave to you. Yours is just to say thank you. That's what I've learned. No need to write a long letter, a long applause or anything. Just say thank you. You can bless them, but... Be sure that because they give to you, God will bless them. So just give. When, um, I mean, sorry, receive. When you receive, you allow God to bless other people through you. And then in such communities as well, in order to take care of your wellness socially, please ask for help when you need it. This is something I used to personally struggle with. I mean, there are so many other areas in my life that I will willingly, happily ask for help. In fact, I can overwhelm some people by asking. But there are other areas, especially when it comes to certain areas of work, that I struggle to ask. But I'm learning to just ask. Because you know what? I am not a who. Who here on earth can even do everything? I'm human. And it's okay to ask. And I'm learning that the more I ask for help, the more I get time to do other things that only I can do, number one. And number two, when I ask for help and get the help, through that, other people are also receiving their blessings, maybe opportunity to learn. In fact, opportunity just to be a blessing to me. People actually would love to give. So please ask for help when you are in such a community. Don't shut up and die silently. <laughs> The final thing I will say is do a social wellness audit. There are some communities we are in that we are not being of value or the communities are not being of value to us. Why are we still in? There are some friendships that are not serving us or we are not serving the friendship. Why are we still in? You really have to ask yourself. Instead of spreading yourself too thin like I used to do, I mean, I still feel like I am auditing it. What's the word I recently started using? I am, no, it's not downsizing, I forgot. But you know, there are some things I'm just cutting back on so that I can serve more meaningfully. You know, instead of spreading myself too thin, how about I choose a small group of communities that I can really focus on being impactful, giving, helping, being supportive and learning from. The same for certain relationships. I decided that, okay, let me just really be honest with myself. I love this group or I love this person. I really do. But am I serving them? Are they serving me? Is this relationship serving me? Or is it serving them? If it's not, then really, why am I wasting my time and their time? And sometimes some relationships are just terrible for us and put us in trouble. Why are we in it? These are questions we really have to ask ourselves. To reduce overwhelm, for me, I've had to quit some groups or put some things on hold just so I can really focus on what is really serving me or I am serving them at this moment. 
So I hope you get me. Do an audit of your social circles. Find what you really, really need to focus on. And the rest, please, please do them a favor and do yourself a favor by removing yourselves from it. Are you removing yourself from it? So these are the five points. Let me summarize again. In order to take care of your social wellness, be in a community of like-minded or desired caliber of people intentionally. Secondly, give generously when you can. Thirdly, receive gratefully even when you can't repay. In fact, especially when you can't repay. Then ask for help when you need it, please. And then finally, do a social wellness audit. And once you do it, please do what you got to do. Now, before I let you go, let me let you know, just in case you haven't heard, that International Fabulous Women's Conference, IFAB 2023, is happening at Fab Hub Ashanti in Kumasi, Abwabukese, to be precise, from 3rd to 6th March 2023. Our theme is Dear Woman, Be Well to Impact. Yes, I am big on wellness, especially these days, right? More details will be coming soon, so look out for them right here on our channel. And remember, Mind Your Business is a free resource, just like our Facebook community called the Fabulous Woman Community. It is open to all women. But if you prefer to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, it starts with a discovery call. Book at Amadon, not Amadonkan, amadonkan.com forward slash door to start the conversation with me. Until same time next week when I come your way with yet another episode, I believe the last or last but one episode in 2022, I wish you the very best. Enjoy the season. Ta, toodles, bye.